Hi there YouTube and thank you for tuning in to Assets Tech Tips. I am going to show you how to set a static DHCP reservation and how to set a static IP address. So I'm going to start with the IP address first because it's the quickest and the easiest. On a Windows 7, 8 and 8.1 system, you need to go to your network and sharing center. On Windows 7, this is easily done by going to Start and typing in Network. On, or not actually, another way of doing it is going into Control Panel. And in Control Panel, you will also have Network and Sharing Center. Another way of doing it is to right click on your network icon. Choose Open Network and Sharing Center this way. On Windows 8 and 8.1, move your mouse over to the far right hand side. Click on the cogwheel for settings, Control Panel, and then Control Panel, Network and Sharing Center. When you get to your Network and Sharing Center, uh, just a, 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 an additional step, if you're using a notebook, You'll have a slightly different icon. You will have a oops, a daisy close, close. Okay, you'll have this icon here. So you basically same thing. You just right hand click on your wireless network icon, network and sharing center. The steps from here on in are exactly the same for pretty much notebook, PC, eight, eight point one, Windows seven. So when you get to your network and sharing center. You need to click on your connection, choose properties, scroll down to TCP IPv4, click on properties, and here you can see I actually have a static IP address already entered in. Now all this information, um, for you it'll look like this, you'll have nothing. All the information that you need is available by opening up command prompt. So press the Windows key and tap R, type in CMD, enter, and then in your command prompt window, enter in IP CONFIG forward slash all. And you can see the IP address, the subnet mask, the default gateway, which is the IP address to access your router, which we will need later on for setting our reservation, default gateway. The DNS server, in my case it's a little special, but in your case it should be the same IP as your default gateway. And basically you just copy and paste this information over. You put a tick in, use the following IP address info, and you just Pop in what you see from this window over here. Oops, a daisy. Now, the IP address here is 120. Let's just say that IP address was given to this machine via DHCP automatically. And I want to set it as a static IP address of 100. What I would do is I would go zero seventeen dot one hundred. Okay. Close. Close. And then I would want to check to make sure that it's working. So I do my IP config again. And here now I can see the IP address is set. And that's how you set a static IP address. What is a static IP address? A static IP address is an IP address that does not change. Let's say you've got a server. A server serves out a lot of stuff. It does a lot of things. You don't want the IP address on that changing. It's got to stay the same. Or you've got a network attached storage. And the network attached storage, a little bit like a server, 
it's providing you shares or whatever you're using it for, it needs to have a set IP address. If you've got a tower computer, that would be another good device to have a static IP address on it. But if you've got a notebook, well, that's not really such a great device to have a static IP address on. Now, why, why do you use static IP addresses? Well, I've just kind of explained. You, you want an IP address that doesn't change because you've got services that are dealing with a specific IP. Like, for example, very, very, very rarely, mm -hmm, I use a torrent program. And in my torrent program, I have a specific port. Here she is here. And in my router, I have my router saying for the IP address 100, the one I just showed you a moment ago, for this IP address here, which is this computer here, See, this is this machine. In my router, I have said I want to forward this port specifically to this IP. I want the port to be open and I want to be able to download or upload without any interference, no blocks, n nothing. Just a completely open port, bang on to this IP address. Now, the problem is. If this IP address on my laptop comes back tomorrow with a DHCP setting and says to the router, hey, please can I have an IP address? And the router goes, yeah, sure, no problem. Here, take 10.0.17.1.2.3. Well, then my U-Tone program is not going to work because it's only putting the information through for that port on this IP address. So it's got to be the same IP. So the question is, how do I have my notebook on DHCP, which basically means automatic, give me an IP address automatically, but always getting the same IP address and not a different one? How do I make sure that on my router, the DHCP server reserves this IP and does not give it to anybody else? Well, that's what I'm going to show you. So what you do is on your router, which is more than likely in your case on a home network, your default gateway, you need to enter in the IP address. So basically just take note of what the IP address of your default gateway is. You can do like I'm doing now, open up your command prompt, IP config, right click, mark, highlight the IP, hit enter. Open up a browser. And in the browser URL bar here, you want to paste in that IP address. And that will give you your login screen to your router's web interface. So you need to enter in your login credentials. I, I assume you know what they are. You should do. And access your web interface. So I just have a couple of live demos because I do not want to show you my one. So here we go. So once you've logged in, let's just open up a few more, shall we? Cool. So when you've logged into your firmware, what you need to do is you need to go to where the DHCP server is and look for reservation. The DHCP server on your router is part of your local area network. So it's your local area network or LAN that you need to go to. So for ASUS firmwares, It'll be here. If you're using sorry, DHCP server, 
manual assignment. So that's where it is on Asus routers. On Netgear, you want to go to um, LAN IP setup. And here you've got your address reservations. If you're using Linksys, same thing. You go to setup. Don't show me this again. And here it is, DHCP server. It's enabled, it's running reservation. So you see, it's basically all the same thing. On the Cisco, uh, oh, sorry, no. On the Linksys E2500, you click on DHCP reservation. This pop-up comes up, and you've got the option to enter in the physical MAC address the IP address that you want to have, and then stick in a name to make it easy. Netgear will be the same thing. You click on Add. It'll ask you to enter in the IP address you want, a physical MAC address, a name for the device. On Asus, same thing again. You enter in the IP address you want. You enter in the MAC address that you need. You don't have the option of adding in a name, unfortunately, and you just click on the plus symbol and then apply. So for this example, I'm going to use the Linksys E2500. Now, what I want to do is I want to reserve the IP address 192.168.1.1. What was our IP? I think it was 100. Yeah, it was 100. So I need to find out what is the MAC address of my physical network card now. So I go to Network and Sharing Center. I click on my connection. And I go to Details. In Details, you will see Physical Address. Here she is. Now I'm going to go back to my reservation screen here. I'm going to enter in that code there. So what have we got? We've got 00, zero. we've got a 22, oops, colon. Then we've got a NFA, we've got a 67, we've got 3C, and we have a 4E. So now what I've done is I've said this specific physical piece of hardware, which is my network card, my wireless network card. I want it to always use the address 120 when it is on my network. Click on Add. Click on Save. And that's it. So now what's going to happen is when I'm in Starbucks, I'm going to get my 192.168 54.123 IP address. I'll be able to check my email, browse the internet. When I'm in work, it'll say, give me an automatic IP. And the writer will be like, yeah, sure, no worries here. 10.1.50.252. You'll be able to work. You'll be connected to the network, your shares, your NAS, your whatever. It'll work fine. And then when you come home, the automatic DHCP on your laptop will say, give me an automatic IP. And your writer would go, yeah, sure, wait a second, I know you, you're this here. Nobody's using this IP, it's been reserved specifically for you. Here you go, you are 192.168.1.120. And your notebook 
or your laptop will always use that IP address. It'll get it automatically. It'll, via DHCP, ask, give me a random IP address, but the writer will know that this is the address to lease out to that specific device, and no other device on the network will use it. So I hope that's clear enough. That's how you set your DHCP reservation, and it has lots of benefits. Um, yeah, thank you for watching. If you've got any questions, or I mean, I showed a couple of um, a couple of routers. I've showed a uh, Linksys, I've showed a Netgear, an Asus. There's millions of router manufacturers out there. If I haven't covered your one, and you haven't been able to find the LAN section and the, the part where you enter in your, um, what you call it, your reservation, your, your fixed IP for the DHCP server to automatically hand out, just send me an email to assetscript.com. Sorry, not assetscript.com, assetscript at gmail.com. Manufacture and model. I'll check it out and I'll get back to you. If you have any questions, queries, need any advice, assistance, recommendations, whatever, send me an email address to that email address and I will be more than happy to assist you. Thank you very much for watching. I hope my video has been clean, clear and precise, easy to follow. Uh, I do welcome your feedback and your comments. And again, thank you for watching. Have a, a good evening, YouTubers. Take care. Bye-bye.